Uh, I would say good morning, but it's now 11 o'clock, so good afternoon. <laughs> we are getting ready to head out. It's, it's taken us a little bit to like get our act together and try to get out the door. So y'all know we've been sick and all that stuff. Um, everybody is better now, thank goodness, but it's being cooped up. So I'm going to take the, so I only have seven kids with me. I have Miley on under, so Miley, Logan, Reagan, Harper, Drew, Kinley, Camden. We're gonna go to the indoor playground. It's very hot here, just to kind of get them out a little bit. My older kids, older four kids, are at internship at church. So the kids are looking forward to this. They've been asking me to go to the playground for a like a week, and I'm like, we gotta just make sure that everybody's 100% better before we do that. We don't want to spread the germs. Anyways, I am grabbed one of my favorite books, Mere Motherhood, and I want to try to get some reading done while the kids play because they love this playground and they just have a ton of fun there, so I might get some reading in. And something about just picking up a book that you have loved and rereading it just excites me. So, getting out the door, and I'm also at the point where I'm just grabbing two diapers and wipes for Camden. We did pack a snack bag and water and Kinley's potty train, so... Maybe I should grab some extra clothes just in case because I don't, I did, I try to keep up here in the van, but we cleaned out the van and they got taken out. Oh, it is hot y'all. <laughs> Thought I would come out here for a minute, but oh, I might not be staying out here very long. Just kind of want to show update on the garden. We are still getting so many tomatoes. I just picked like a slicer kind. We got all these cherry tomatoes. I'm going to make some sauce or some more salsa or something because we just have so many. I've been giving them away, um, which is just so fun. So I don't remember when we did this. So Miley really likes these Chinese noodle beans. And we just kind of like randomly put some seeds in this pot. And they have grown and are climbing up here. They are so good. We've picked a handful of them. We probably have enough to make some now. Um, they're normally like bright purple or a deeper purple I guess I should say so I don't know why they're not and that they're just white hopefully they oh I dropped my tomato um, I don't know we'll see I would say maybe they're not getting enough sun because I think that's what makes them turn purple but I mean y'all see the sun blazing right so I have no idea I don't know we shall try and see these are so good fry them up with some garlic butter and bacon Yum. The zucchini was done. So I planted okra in the spots where the zucchini was. And I mean, they're getting bigger. So okra does really good here because of the heat. What you got? Yeah. Tomatoes. Oh, let's only pick the red ones, okay? Look like right here. Yes. Oh no, you don't have to throw it on the ground. <laughs> That's okay. She took one of the orange ones and threw it on the ground because it wasn't red. Yeah. Good job. Okay guys, I'm gonna share my new favorite snack with y'all. This is seriously so delicious. I will link the blog post um, that I got it from is from Roots and Refuge Farm. And it's just brown butter tomatoes. You just brown the butter. So right now, you know, it's all melted and there's just, you don't want it to obviously burn, but just get golden. So this is almost done. All right, so I have my cherry tomatoes diced up. So she actually used slicers, but I have done this with cherry tomatoes and I have just really liked it. Those orange ones are sun gold tomatoes and those are my favorite with this, but you just literally, Pour that over them and enjoy. You can thank me later if you like tomatoes. Try this and let me know how you like it. Okay, going to share something with y'all that I am attempting to do. So, labeled some cups for all the kids. And the plan is, I'm putting them in order. <laughs> These will be the kids' cups every day. And then we will just hand wash them at the end of the day. So they will be ready to go every morning. I've tried many different things over the years. I mean, I can always try, right? So can't fault the mama for trying <laughs> to produce the dishes. So my thought is, you know, this is their cup that they have out during the day. And then at night, I'll just quickly hand wash them and then they'll be dry in the morning. 
and then obviously ready to use again. Oh yes, yeah, here, that's okay, I'll fix it, thank you. Um, I've tried many different things over the years. I've tried colored cups, I've tried a number of different things. So my older girls, so my older girls aren't included in this because they drink just out of their water bottles, is what they prefer. And then the little kids will have their sippy cups, um, Kinley and Camden. I might go and get another cup for Kinley because sometimes she likes to drink out of a regular cup. <laughs> but just trying to reduce the amount of cups that we are going through in a day. And I just feel like if there's like a, an assigned, a designated cup, they're more likely to use it. So here's hoping. So now I just have to find a spot for the cups to stay on the counter. For now, I put them in front of the air fryer. I don't know if I'll actually keep them there or not. So anyways, but it's actually Saturday. It's the next day in case you couldn't tell. Um, and it's also the first of the month. So on the first of every month, we rotate our chores. So we've already switched that around and we're just trying to get caught up from the week. Um, you know, just getting some areas that needed some attention. I got the living room picked up. Um, Jackson and Miley have become very efficient in cleaning a pool and they are doing a great job. So they are actually vacuuming out the pool now they're almost done. I'm just trying to get some things tidied up, cleaned up. Obviously, I've got to get to the dishes. That's why I'm doing the cups is because we are just going through so many dishes in a day. So I'm just trying to help out in some of our problem areas. First thing on the to-do list is to clean out the refrigerator. I try to keep up on this one. We just have a lot of food coming in and going in this house, so it doesn't get too bad, but I'm just taking the extra time to wipe it all out and get all those fingerprints off the front of the refrigerator. Those uh, build up fast as well. And there's always that pile of dishes. And of course there's extra dishes from cleaning out the refrigerator. What's cute is behind the scenes, which y'all can't see, and I didn't really get a ton of it on video, is the kids were having a serious dance party while we were getting all the cleaning done. And of course, what dance party is not a dance party if it doesn't have bubbles. And here it is, y'all, that never-ending mountain of laundry that we have to tackle. So this is for pretty big loads that we need to get folded. That chore chart that I mentioned earlier, um, we are trying something different this month. So we have been having two kids for the month, each of them fold a basket a day. Um, but this month I'm trying something different and we are gonna add a third folder in the mix. I'm hoping this helps us stay caught up. All right, so here's that sourdough starter. So I got that on Monday and it's Saturday. I've been feeding it every day and look at all those bubbles. But I think I can try to make something today. Okay, but first things before I try to make anything, I am starving y'all. So I'm starting to make myself a salad. Got to get cucumber <laughs> topped up. Drew just gave me this. Isn't this sweet? Give me a picture. I love it, Drew Drew. Thank you. Okay, so it's a little bit later. We got all the cleaning done that I wanted to do. Although if you walked in right now, you would look around, you wouldn't know that we spent a couple hours cleaning. <laughs> It's just what life is like with a bunch of kids, right? It's like clean up a mess, make a mess, clean up a mess, make a mess. Anyway, so um, I actually left for a little bit too. Went to the store with my aunt, which was nice to get out of the house for a little bit. Just needed a few things. And now I'm cooking dinner. I'm getting started a little bit later than what I normally do. But tonight we are having chicken pot pie. And I will show you all that. It's one of, I haven't made this in a little bit. And it's one of our family's favorite meals. Okay, so this is a lot of chicken. It's three pounds of chicken that, you know, I cooked, shredded, and then it is a, so I'm doubling this. It is a whole block of cream cheese. The recipe for one chicken pot pie only calls for one thing of cream cheese. And then this really makes it two is I add Italian dressing. It, I believe is a quarter cup is what the recipe called for for one pie, you know, but I don't measure, so. There we go. I'm gonna go get some garlic and add some garlic and then just get this kind of going and then we'll add a little bit of flour. Oop. If I can, it's hard to do this one handed. And then um, some chicken stock. Okay, so all that's combined, the cream cheese, Italian dressing. Now I'm gonna add about four tablespoons of flour. So, oop, if y'all have been here for a while, y'all have seen this recipe before. But it has been a while since I have shared it. I seriously have been making this since before we had kids um, and it has become a family favorite. I actually got this recipe from the craft food like 
catalog magazine that used to come in the mail. Do they even still do that? Anyways, um, so it tells you how long, how old this is. And it's just, just been a favorite. One year, I think every kid requested it for their birthday, for their birthday dinner. Okay, so getting that combined, and then you add about a cup, cup and a half of chicken stock. All right, I already added the chicken broth, and now we add <laughs> a bag of vegetables. So this was uh, just over half a bag, and this was 32 ounces of mixed vegetables. So I do have a little bit of another bag, but I'm gonna stir this in first and see what I think if it needs a little more or not. Okay, oven's preheated, so I got it preheated for 375. I am not gonna add any more vegetables. I feel like this is good enough. I did add a little bit more um, chicken stock just to kind of give it a little bit more liquid. So I'm gonna let this simmer for five minutes and then I will get it in my pie pan. All right, also making some sweet tea. So now y'all, we're in the South. So our sweet tea, you know, has got sugar in it. <laughs> we got a saying that we like it so sweet that you could pour it on top of pancakes. <laughs> so I don't really, it's about a cup, cup and a half. Um, of sugar for our tea. I used to make our tea all the time and then I got out of it because trying not to drink as much sugar, but Nathan's really liking sweet tea again. So I'm gonna let that sugar dissolve and then I'll add the tea bags. Okay, so I obviously need another pitcher of water to make this a full gallon. So I got that going. I really like this tea kettle thing. It is very convenient, and then I get my tea in there, and I let it steep for a while. Maybe I should try sun tea. Does anybody make sun tea? My mom did that whenever I was a kid. Oh, I meant to stir the sugar up before I put the tea in. <laughs> It'll be fine. But I remember that my mom had this jug that she set outside. That would be fun. So let me know if any of y'all make sun tea. All right, got my pot pies and pans. I ended up with three. Um, and then y'all, you know, store-bought crust. Sorry, that's how I roll. Get it? That is what we are doing. All right, now I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then I will make jasmine rice to go on the side. I did just recently watch a video on doing sourdough pie crust. So I want to try that soon. I guess I technically could have tried it tonight. I had that, I've had that pie crust for a while, so I actually needed to use it up. Um, but I think from what the way that she did the video, she made it earlier in the day. So that would be smarter. Um, anyways, I will hopefully try that one day. Meanwhile, more dishes, you know, it never ends. <laughs> I think this is like my third set of dishes. Um, so the kids do help with dishes and even folding laundry and all of that stuff. But it's just, it's a lot with a big family. So I'm obviously in helping. Sorry, there was a fly. <laughs> it was distracting me. Anyway, so. Um, I obviously just help in all areas to keep it, to keep it all up. Hi. Yeah, chicken pot pie. So chicken pot pie is done and ready to eat. Got the rice done. Everybody's Ooh, hungry. Dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this seems to happen. So I made three chicken pot pies because we normally go through two without leftovers, right? So I made three. Granted, Nathan hasn't eaten yet, but y'all see, we have a whole pie and just over half of one left. <laughs> so, I mean, my kids just really, some days they just don't eat a lot. But anyway, so we will just have this for lunch after church tomorrow. Dinner was really good. And now I'm out in the garden. I have watered, I have fertilized. I have also pruned up some of these tomato plants. They're going a little wild. It looks a little better. And now I've got a ton more tomatoes to pick. We are getting bowls every day, and I love it. Look at all those. Okay, doing after dinner chores. It has been a long, busy, but very good day. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you all in the next video. Say bye. Bye.